Hello folks, welcome to the first of what is hopefully a series of Grand Strategy Saturdays. I am Mark, here with Larissa. And uh, let us know how we sound, as always, excuse the fuck up, so please let us know in chat if you're just hearing horrible, horrible static. Well, I, I've added some new filters to my uh, to OBS here, so it should should do something. Oh, someone said we're a little quiet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone said it seems all right to them, so I'm gonna trust that guy. Audio. Wait, when you say audio is quite quiet, do they mean um? Like the music or us talking? Alrighty. You know what? Someone said there isn't music. I don't think the, the music's coming through. So I'm going to try one thing here. Give me a second, folks. All right, hopefully the game audio just came through. Oh, wait, I don't think they actually heard you, Larissa. Nobody can hear me? Well, they can now. I, th I think I fixed it. Well, you better have fixed it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we probably have. All right, yeah, we're good. We're good. Everything's good. There we go. Hi, everybody. I said hi before, so I'm saying hi again. Yeah, we had a great conversation before that they only heard one half of. Yes, I was here the whole time. Well, let's uh, end this embarrassment by getting started, I think. I think that's a good idea. So if you've been paying attention, you'll know we're playing as Mother Russia. Also known as Peter the Great. This is actually my, my first time playing Civ Rise and Fall, so I'm a little a little worried about it. Worried how? Well, like, are you afraid of embarrassing yourself? <laughs> I'm always afraid of embarrassing myself. That's like my number one writing concern. Uh, if you're in chat, let us know what, uh, what other nations you want in this game. What are the leaders? I'm going to pick. Who do you want, Larissa? We got Gandhi, we got Genghis Khan, we got all the greats. Let's get Genghis Khan in here. Oh my god. He's always fun to play against. Well, now we're for sure going to lose. A lot of people are saying the Netherlands, and by a lot, I mean yeah. two. I might rely on Peter the OK. <laughs> I am looking at chat, yeah. Britain and Germany are also requested. All right, got Britain, Germany. Where is Britain? And three people have. No, three? Two. Two people have requested Gandhi. Well, yeah, Gandhi's, no. Gandhi's a little... We got Genghis Khan already. Do we want another barbaric to spoiler like Gandhi? <laughs> Thanks, son of dude, for following. All right, fuck it. Gandhi's in. Gandhi's in. Britain. A lot of people are asking for Britain. Uh, I got Victoria, so we're, we're good. Oh, we got four more slots. Uh, someone requested Germany earlier. Do we have them? Yeah, oh, right yeah? now we got... Frederick Barbarossa. We got the Mongols, we got the Netherlands, we got Germany, Britain, and uh, Italy. Or no, not Italy, India. Oh, I guess we should have the USA, right? They're kind of... I was going to say important, but they're... Yeah, they're... yeah throw them in there. You have oh, a small voice. case of robot voice. Are you on Wi-Fi? Oh, I'm always on Wi-Fi. Mm. I run a uh, hundred foot uh, cable down to the basement when I'm streaming to make sure. You know what? Let's add China and Japan. Yes. And one more slot. I feel like we got to get some Middle Eastern flair in there. So how about Saladin? Throw in some uh, Saladin. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we got a pretty good lineup here. Yeah, it's going to be right. great. So 15 city-states, I, I guess that's good. Continents, because always continents. Resources, I like doing abundant, because I'm bad at the game. <laughs> and start position legendary, because I'm bad at the game. 
Uh, temperature. Uh, rainfall, sea level. I don't know. It all seems good. Uh, so victory conditions. In chat. If you're in chat, what, what victory conditions? I'm assuming all of them except score, maybe? Drum roll as we see what the chat says. Drum roll. That's sad. I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> I'm going to turn off turn limit. That always kind of annoys me. Oh, All conditions score but is score best. is the best. All of them except score. Oh, wait. I can't do... Yeah. Uh, fuck always score. turn off score. Okay. We hear you. We're turning off the score. I would only do domination victory, but I'd probably lose, and also we don't have all day. Actually, we only have two to three hours, but we'll do this every week until we finish up, so. Alright, does everything look good? I gotta save the configuration Huzzah. just in case something fucks up here. Alright, now, before I hit start game, I need to let everyone know one thing. I have this thing. When I'm playing as Russia, I have to start in the north. And I will not suffer starting in the south. I don't know why. I don't know if it's some sort of... I don't know what it is. But if we start in the south, I gotta restart. That's just... It's just the way it goes. Okay. Mr. Elitist over here. Yeah, no. <laughs> Alright. Rob Bigfoot asks, Are you guys pretty good? From no. The first stirrings of life I guess we'll find out. To the great Shandine's beasts talking. of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Embrace the chill winds of the motherland, Tsar Peter. Your fascination with science and culture is a gift, and you will learn much from your grand embassies to foreign lands. Under your rule, Russia will surely flourish and spread, absorbing all that lies around it, perhaps creating the greatest land empire seen on this earth. All right, Ned has stopped talking. Thanks, Ned. See, the weird thing about Civ is, like, it's it's constrained to real-world history, but it always ends up completely different. Because Sean Bean told me, oh, maybe I'll create the greatest land empire. Well, fuck you, what if I want to create a maritime empire? That's my right. It's not like, you know... It's Civ. I can do what I want, right? There is a certain amount of player agency. Yeah. Uh, I can't tell where we are. Normally, if we start near Tundra, that, that's a good sign. But we got a nice river. We got some wheat, some copper, and some deer. Yeah, that looks like a good place. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. Let's stick here, then. St. Petersburg. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Let's just go scout north. We got to make sure we're in the north. I always start with scouts, that's kind of my thing. And animal husbandry or astrology? The only version of Civ that I've actually played myself was that mobile game that was Ooh. out for a while. Which is basically Civilization, but like tiny. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool to see how much more complicated the full game is. It's, it's too complicated for me, really. <laughs> God damn it, I think we might be in the south. Ah, I'll just have to deal with it. It's gonna bother me, but I'll be fine. Just suck it up. Can I scroll with WASD? No, I can't. Okay, looks like it's number cure. Whatever. Ooh, found the ocean and some whales. Whales are good. Can harvest their fat, I guess. It's not just the whales. It's the water. That's my Scottish accent. I can't. That was. I can't um. That was wonderful. That was great. Ack! It's not just the whales, by cracky. It's the water. We gotta get this water down to Darwin, and no Japanese are gonna stop us this time, boy cracky. Japanese bomb Darwin. Uh, Darth Syndros asks, anyone remember that Civ game on Xbox 360? Ooh, that'd be terrible. How would it work on? Probably nowhere near as efficiently. Reconnaissance units like scouts are unique in that they can this gain is kind of talking down to me. <laughs> Reconnaissance units are unique. Yeah, I know. I've played this game before. <laughs> it doesn't know that. 
Oh, uh, I sh forgot to mention, I probably should have said this beforehand, I am playing with a couple mods, notably um, the red pack, which makes uh, larger formations of units. So they look smaller, but they're, they're just, it's just cosmetic. Right. Just cosmetic. Yeah. <laughs> Got a All right, how's St. Petersburg doing? Uh, it's, it's lightly defended, apparently. Population of one. I mean, we're still pretty early. Oh, fuck, barbarians. Now we're fucked. Oh, no. Fight the barbarians. With scouts? Are you mad? The, the, the scouts are smart. I guess I can move the warriors back, but now nah, the scouts are gonna run away, as is tradition. <laughs> <laughs> See, I haven't played this game in quite a while, so I, I'm sure there's something I used to do quite often at the start, but that I'm forgetting to do now. So everyone, stay tuned. Maybe Our Mark will fail miserably because <laughs> he's, Maybe. he's a noob. Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can... Oh, shut up, lady. Oh, we met uh, Antioch. Where is Antioch? Antioch. Do you I recognize? Know. I don't recognize that name, no. I feel a little dumb for not knowing it, but... It sounds kind of biblical, I'm sure the advisor it? will tell us. <laughs> now, nah, the advisor just said they want something. Oh, well. That advisor really is useless. Antioch. Is that Middle East, probably, I think? If you're in chat, let us know where Antioch is. It is a Greco-Roman city on the eastern side of the Orontes River. Ah. It's in Turkey. Oh, I was close. We met the Netherlands. Ooh. Apparently the leader of the Netherlands is some lady with an umbrella. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, wait, what was her name? Uh, Wilhelmina. That's, I'm saying that wrong, right? Wil, Wil, Wilhelm, she's the queen of the Netherlands. Is it an oh, honor I to see. meet her? Or, well met, stranger, but I'm afraid we are too busy to stay in. Ah, that's, it's an honor. It's an honor, sure. Why is the screen black? I don't know, is it black? Yeah, it's black. I see your mouse moving, but I'm, nothing's happening. What about now? Uh, so far no good. I'm fond of pigs. That's odd. Dogs. Ah, there it is. Oh, I guess when the uh, when the civ leader comes up, the screen goes black. Is it? Is it not compatible with streaming or something? That sounds like that is... doesn't sound like a. Like I just it should uh, work like that. I just brought it up again. Let me know if it's if it's black again. Yeah, it's black again. We can That's see so your weird. mouse moving, but okay, so we don't get to see the leader introductions. Someone said that Civ 6 is a perfect game with no bugs, so obviously <laughs> this is my fault that yep, <laughs> that Wilhelma is isn't showing up your, for anybody. It's your fault. 100% your fault. Oh my god. All right, well, when the black screen's up, just know that I'm talking to one of the leaders, and they're probably saying something dumb. <sighs> I'm going to go bring with shame. I always like starting a religion early. I don't know, I got a couple scouts out now. What do I need? A builder? Yeah, let's do builder. Let's get St. Petersburg going. Mark is a noob, says gaming dude 134. Mark yes, with a this... K though, so not me. Yeah, it's some other dude named Mark. That other Mark sucks. I developed uh, such a habit of introducing myself as Mark with the C that I'd say it in like times when it made no difference whatsoever. I mean, it felt kind of stupid. That's okay. You're you're pretty cool anyway. <laughs> you're just saying that. You're just saying that. Also, we got a one yes. new population. I think we picked up a village or something. I, I forgot to check. Also, thanks, Rob Bigfoot Six. That's a good name, Rob Bigfoot. Rob Bigfoot Six. Yeah, that's a pretty cool username. Revblade Z says, heard that Civ Six is the most complete vanilla Civ. Yeah, that seems about right. I think Civ Five didn't have religion in it at, at start, as I recall. Ah. More barbarians to the south. So, what's your guys' poison? Chocolate or vanilla? 
Let us know in the chat. Am I that not interesting? <laughs> oh god. I'm just trying to get some there. audience participation. <laughs> I'm always vanilla. Like I, I like vanilla I'm more than chocolate. A godless commie says chocolate. Ugh. Oh, that's his name. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are saying chocolate. Wisdom, cookie dough, though. Cookie dough. We, That's uh, pretty great. We uncovered a code of laws. Ooh. We just found it? Uh, I think we were researching it. So now we can do urban planning, plus one production, or god king. Hmm. <laughs> what, what do you think? Let's do urban planning. Oh, I thought for sure god empress Larissa would have gone with god king. Yeah, but I don't want any other people competing with my uh, my title, and uh, I can't stand for Peter the Okay to be a god emperor. Peter the Okay? Oh my god. Yes. I'm not going to tell him. That. I'm that egotistical. I can believe it. I mean, oh, actors are uh, Apparently, like a barbarian scout saw your city, and you're going to get zerged by barbs. I'm pretty sure any barbs that show up will suffer the fate of Barb from Stranger Things. <laughs> killed in a swimming pool. Poor Barb. She didn't deserve that. I made this uh, image, and it was called, like, it said, What About Barb? But in the Stranger Things, like, font. And uh, someone ripped me off. Oh, I right! I design at, uh, at, what do you call it, a comic expo. Ooh, you should sell prints. Eh. Oh, yeah. More barbarian scouts. Barbaran. <laughs> They're just coming right up there. Just getting right up in our business. Kind of rude. What do they want? Do I have enough money for an archer, do you think? That's really a you question. I'm only half I paying don't. attention to the game. Oh, that's fine. I don't know why you want to watch the stream. <laughs> I don't even well, have Well, I'm watching yet. the chat because I care what people are saying. I don't care what people are saying. And that's why you lose. I haven't even lost yet. Not a lot of faith in Mark on on, on the whole <laughs> kind of Templin atmosphere we've cultivated here. No one was on my side for Deadlock going up against Space Dock. And now I'm in a single player well, game. Well, there were, I still there were a couple of... <laughs> yeah, Cavis says, Larissa engages with her audience, Mark. With her audience, not our audience. Welcome to oh, you're United gonna get a black States screen again America. because we just met the United States. Oh no! He says Consider if we conduct ourselves friend. well, we can be friends. And then I oh. said it's an honor to meet you, and let's exchange info on the capitals. And now we're back. Well, hmm. <laughs> Dejanus, I'm gonna say your name that way. Dejanus says that he's. They are rooting for the barbarians. To be honest. Oh my god. But Gaming Dude 134 says you win at Stellaris, Mark. So that is true. you've got that going for you. Oh my god, someone just cheered 30, 30 bits. Woo, bits! I hope it shows up in the uh, in the uh, the thing here. I made a thing for it. So watch out for the, the sponsor thing. Latest cheer. Top cheer. Woo. Uh, it should be on the uh, sponsors thing. I'm gonna build the I might I might have missed it. Well, hopefully it worked. Wait, can barbarian scouts steal people? You know what? They could. Can they? I don't know. Are you speaking I don't know. Here? I've I've never played the PC version of this game because I'm a savage. Someone donate more bits, but write a message. Oh wait, no, I, I think it finally came through. I'm I'm way behind on the thing. Oh yeah, there it goes. Guso cheered thirty. That's uh, 30 cents, but I think in Canadian, that's the equivalent of, what, $1,500? Yeah, that's going to feed us for a month. Thank yeah, you, that'll guys. Good. That means we can spend more time streaming. Yeah. Yay. We need one of those, um, like, donation thermometers. Yeah, we really do. make it the Expanse flag. Boom. Ooh, good callback. Yeah. 
Uh, Kavis says, yes, barbarian scouts can steal workers. Uh-oh. Well, they wouldn't dare. Well, I mean, our workers are loyal to Mother Russia. And they just boosted our knowledge of uh, irrigation, so. Well, that's, that's, that's great. It is great. That's not so bad. Maybe I should be talking in a Russian accent this entire time. Can you do a Russian accent, though, or is it just going to morph into uh, another perhaps really this bad will Australian? Oh, I buy crocky. We got to throw these Nazis back from Mother Russia. And now Nicole Kidman's going to stop us from getting to Darwin this time. Oh, God. Oh, God. Pretty good, right? It's just, it's just so great. Thank you. It's just so great. And thank you to Skell underscore 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 for following. Welcome to the stream. I wish I you could, have a very uh, peculiar name, Skell underscore underscore underscore. Well, Skell was taken, so they had to throw in some other scores. Yeah, but why not just throw in the last two numbers of your birth year? That's what everybody else did back in the early 2000s. I can't do that. I was born in uh, 88. And 88 is Nazi slang for Hail Hitler. So oh, I, I used shit. to do that, and then I figured out what was going on, and now I, I can't do that anymore. Oh, that's too bad. It is. Oh, yeah. black screen again. The Netherlands gave us some uh, wooden shoes, cheeses, and some delightful stroopwafel. Ooh, I like stroopwafel. What's, what is that? It's syrup waffles. They're just waffles ah. with syrup on them. So the Amsterdam is to the south, and so is Washington. So I guess and we're technically Hong Kong. north. There's just not much much of a north. Someone said, well, that's enough of this stream. Well, <laughs> fuck you, guys. Sorry to disappoint you, Soldy95. I mean, we were having a good time. I mean, I was having a good time. I don't know about you guys, but... Yeah, Man, that, that black screen issue is going to be annoying once uh, we get some frequent talk here. Yeah. Let's, uh, can you skip them at all? Nah. The Netherlands sent over 30 packages of tulips. Stroopwafel. Stroopwafel. Oh, I've been told that I'm mispronouncing Stroopwafel. Uh oh. It's pronounced like road, so it's O, oh, so it's Stroopwafel. Is that correct? Please correct me, because I do actually want to learn uh, Dutch one day. 30,000 packages of tulips. I'm sorry, not 30. Oh, and Kavis uh, donated, oh my god, 50 uh, shlum shlams, whatever they're called. Bitty bops. Yeah, let me know if but that message appears. Yay, that means that we're going to be able to eat for the rest of the year. Guys, I think we've made a dollar so like, far. This is great. It's great. So I don't see any tundra, and I kind of need tundra as Russia, so this is concerning. Stropfafel. Okay. I think I've got it now. Thank the you. Stropfafel. Stropfafel. It's so, it's so great. I... I really want to be a polyglot for real. So this is great. I love learning proper pronunciations for different word. Black words. screen. We just met Gandhi. Oh no! Gandhi brought the black screen. He's threatening us with nuclear weapons. What? No, he's not. I'm keeping that joke. Okay. Because I wouldn't be surprised. But Anyways, you said you wanted to be a polywog? Polyglot. That's what I said. That's not what you said. Yes, it is. Don't, don't lie to me, Mark. <gasps> How did you know my name? <laughs> it's almost like we're business partners. Oh my god. My god. Black screen again. Delegation is most welcome. Sorry, everybody. That really sucks. We should probably have tested this, but I mean, what could I have done? Reprogram Civ 6? Well, I mean, you could have. Alright, so I guess I should try to fight these barbarians, right? Fight the barbarians. Oh, they have a dog. Oh, a puppy. Yeah, it's very small. 
Yeah, the, the decreased unit sizes are interesting. This is the first time I've played with red consistently. I forgot what we just did. I should probably stop clicking away on things. Yeah, you should. Ooh, somebody just cheered 100 shlim shlams. <laughs> wow, what, what did they say? Or is that a cheer? I think I'm, so. I'm not 100% sure yet. If it's like a yes. polygon. 100 shlims. Okay. Well, I mean, if they're going to pillage and rape, we're going to take some retribution because yeah. that's not okay. Yeah, I, I really want to but encourage the they... idea of donating every time we kill barbarians. <laughs> By the way, a hundred shlim shlams means that we don't ever have to work again. Yeah, we so, don't get that yet. Uh, that means we can stream like full time with an <laughs> Ethernet cable. You're uh, <laughs> you're getting some good robot noises, so yeah, it was like we can stream for. It was funny. It sounded good. I donate a thousand uh, shlim shlams for that. Oh no! Why am I sounding so roboty? I don't understand. Uh, I don't know. That's probably just a wireless thing, I'd imagine. Sometimes the... I, I'm going to use words that I don't know the definition of. Sometimes the bitrate can be compressed by natural formations of silicate present in rooftops. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no <laughs> right to call himself a physician. All right, <laughs> we discovered astrology. Saturn is in the fifth sphere with Jupiter, which means that we should embrace new research opportunities and someone has a crush on you i think is what this means Ooh. is it the taurus does the taurus have a crush what do i think i'm leo what's april uh depends beginning or end uh end the 22nd that is taurus ah oh, gross weren't they jerks in battlestar Taurons? Yeah, there was some rebellion. Yeah, well, Tauron, like, they... Yeah, they had a whole bunch of, like, civil uprisings and stuff happening. Mm. It was pretty ugly. We got a new city coming. Garth Sindrus says that Larissa is secretly an AI that thinks she's a human. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm an AI. You do? <laughs> no. What? Lies. Yeah, what, what, what lies? Ooh, let's make a labra. A lab. Okay, you're gonna it's have like to explain a, uh... that to me. Oh, well, there's a mountain thing over there. I don't know. Maybe not. It's it's like a Russian holy site, I think. Oh, I see. I'll just do a monument. Monument. New good. things, folks. See, I want to get tundra because tundra helps Russian faith, but we don't have any tundra. Mitchell62201 says, settle near the coast. Yeah, I mean, that's usually my go-to, right? But, I don't know. I feel like we, I want to get the interior settled before the Amsterdam takes it up. Also, I'm getting attacked by barbarians. Skill without imagination is crushed. Oh, no! Not the barbarians! Gives us many. But we got Somebody right cheers us 100 bits and we won't kill them. What? <laughs> God, the, the, advisors, the advisors won't shut up. How do I turn off advisors? Let's, let's do this now. And... Kava says, Larissa. Uh, Kava says, Larissa, the following sentence is true. The previous sentence is false. Um, mm, no, I'm not, I'm not going to think about that. I'm not going to think about that. Paradox. No. How do you turn off the advisor? Does anyone know? <laughs> Hello, welcome to this pro civilization game. If you know how Where to turn we off just the advisor. play around in the settings for a while. Yeah, okay, whatever. It's fine. All right, time to run away from these horses, I think. Wait, what's wrong with the horses? Are there people they're, riding these yeah, horses? Yeah, there's barbarians on them. Oh, I see. Ooh, there's also a scout near our settler, which I don't like very much. Mm. All right, let's just see what happens. Charge! Let's get military. No, let's get foreign trade. That'll be a good one. These scouts wouldn't dare steal my settlers, right? Kavis says that they've managed to turn off the advisor, but 
they never looked at it again, so they have no idea. So that's actually not that helpful. The Thanks. advisors should tell you how to turn them off. Yeah. It's gotta be an option, right? Game. Oh, advisor. There we go. Disabled. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right. Black screen. America sent a delegation. What do they want? The scouts are running away from my attack force consisting of a settler, so that's good. Oh! Zoldy95 says, RIP that settler. Oh well. What does he know? <laughs> Nothing. We're in some MLG strats right now. Woohoo! So the settlers scared off the barbs. <laughs> what about barbs? I'm just imagining an army of barbs. Just like looking disapprovingly at you. That's basically my life. That's what I live every day. An army of barbs in front of you? Yeah. Oh my god, somebody donated a thousand bits. Really? Oh my god. Isn't that actual money at that point? I don't really know. Isn't that like ten? Zoldi ninety five. I thought you were quit 95. this a while ago. Yeah, you you said you left. You lied. I mean, I love that you're still here from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching us. But you said you left. Yeah, you can't and just guess, say you're gonna leave and donate. Guess who cheered a hundred bits? Oh my Yay. god! Thank you, both of you folks. That's that's amazing. I guess I, I assume Ooh. it's amazing. Maybe bits are worthless, <laughs> in which case, fuck you guys. <laughs> But let's just, we'll imbue them with our own meaning. Yeah. How about that? I feel like we should call them Schlim Schlams. Schlim Schlams is fun. What do you guys think? Do you like Schlim Schlams? Or is like it too shish shish? I'm going to buy a slinger. Why is everybody throwing paradoxes at me? I'm not going to think about them too hard because otherwise I'm going to short circuit. I mean, um, get a headache. I would legitimately love if you adopted, like, the personality of, of someone, like a robot who's desperately trying to pretend that she's not a robot, but like, terrible at it. <laughs> Is this one of your human, I mean, uh, Earth jokes? Ah, 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 ah. I recently learned a knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Oh, good, good. Look, I killed that guy, <laughs> but the dog lived. Do we get to keep the dog? The dog has disappeared. Probably, he probably came to live with us, I'm assuming. Let's let's hope that we got the dog. And uh, we have a person called Schlip Schlap with peas, and then we've got our currency is Schlim Schlams. Yeah. So, ooh, another ten bits. Woo. Schlim Schlams. Do we still know what those bits are worth? Uh, Doctor Elston says one bit equals one cent. One hundred bits equals. Okay, you need to put in spaces there, bud. I can't read this. <laughs> one dollar, I think. A hundred bits is one dollar, and then a thousand bits is ten dollars. Is that right? I think that's what that says. Donate bits now so we can figure out how much they're worth. <laughs> one bit equals one cent. Okay. That's too complicated. So then we can just math from there. Alright, how are those barbarians doing? Are they, They're are they up everywhere. to no good? In fact, we're kind of surrounded. Ugh, like, Who deserves more credit oh no! Than wife surrounded by uh, those barbarians. Ooh. Now I'm going to research archery so we can shoot mining? them. Oh no, the barbarians are invading. Yeah, but St. Petersburg is doing it. Or like, just like, kind of bang up job. They're milling about. Glory to St. Glory to St. Petersburg. Yeah. I love how the city just turned into a bunch of people. <laughs> It'll do that. What, your city doesn't do that? That happens in Calgary all the time. That explains why I left. Yeah. Oh, don't run for the hills. Don't run for your lives. Because, because you... I mean, I guess you already donated us Schlim Schlam, so I guess you can run, but... Don't now leave that we yet. got your money, you can get the fuck out. <laughs> I 
feel like yeah, I'm not doing a great yeah. job of playing this. Well, it's in the eye of the beholder, right? But sure. would a bad player do this? I'm shooting someone right now. <laughs> uh, possibly. Yeah, I got 5 XP. That ain't half bad. Meanwhile, my warriors are doing nothing but keeping tabs on these guys. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what happens. Another 10 bits. Myth to barbarians is the message. Uh, we did slightly worse at attacking them. Oh. So, ooh, 500 shlim shlams. Damn. The shlim shlams. We're going to be rolling in these icons. I do love how it's just basically some guy throwing some cents on the on the floor and be like, pick it up. You know you want it. Yeah, uh, that would be. There's no oh, black yeah. screen again. Yeah, it's for having a weapon. Uh, Gandhi says there's no shame in, in having a weapon, uh, but we're not allowed to use them. I guess is is his thing. Oh, Eckhart's ladder what says, "Wow, Gandhi barbarians think? reckon you good." <laughs> Fuck you, Eckhart's ladder. <laughs> Ooh, someone just pledged or donated or cheered one thousand and one shlim shlams. Damn. Today on Eckhart's Ladder Stop. versus, we're looking at which is better, my face or Mark's fist. Uh oh, the barbarians trashed a farm. Oh no, we need that farm, right? Well, we need all our farms. God damn it! So far, early Russia the, is going a lot like actual Russia. The farms are the Russia. backbone of Russia. They are. We gotta get another slinger over here. Sling some stones at these fuckers. Yeah, because yeah, that always works. It probably does, doesn't it? I'm sure it does in game. Come on and jam, and welcome to the slam. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I just found out that that is like 20 years old. Is it really? Recently, I saw yeah, Space Jam it's weird. in university, so I would have been in my 30s then, in 96 or 97. You're not in your 30s. Yeah, I am. Well, I'm, now I'm in my 60s. Fuck off. Time works differently over in the Templin Institute pocket dimension. Maybe it does. Ooh, they got a promotion. Oh, but now they can't shoot. God damn it, this game. All my farms. Uh, beautiful farms. No! We need those farms. Yeah. We can't have the barbarians seizing the means of production. Oh my god. Good reference. I know, right? I'm ridiculously proud of myself. Got a dog fight going on. As in, there's a dog in, in this fight. But the dog is okay. Let's keep the puppy. I want the puppy. I think the Netherlands might be taking pity on us. Come on, Netherlands. Help a brother out. Oh, yeah. They're fighting some barbs. Yeah. Take those barbs out. Hmm. Meanwhile, the Mars are slowly taking down the encampment, so that's good. Yay! We're we're gonna take back the land from those barbarians who were there first. Huzzah! Ooh, cultural commentary. Yeah. Ooh, another another cheer of ten shlim shlams from Cavus. Just I wonder what happens that money if you donate a hundred thousand slim slams. I sure hope nobody in chat wants to find out. Ooh. <laughs> Every nation lives by exchanging. We discovered foreign trade. Ooh, that, that means we can trade stuff with foreigners. Good eye, Larissa. In case, in case none of you knew that. You know, I know that name isn't very self-explanatory, so Are I thought I would sure outline it. Are you sure you haven't played Civ before? You know, I could have been lying. You will never know. You got some mad strats going on. That's all I know. <laughs> Alright, I feel like we're slowly getting a handle on the Barb situation. <laughs> Poor Barb. What about Barb? What about Barb? 
Barb. And we need justice for Barb. We need to stop saying Barb. <laughs> it is a great word, though. Barb, 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 Baran. That's an old song. Is it? Isn't it like 50s or something? Yeah, I would have listened to that in high school. Ugh. Uh, the Netherlands got mad at us for making common cause with city-states. I don't know what she's talking about. Does one of the city-states want us to do something? Uh, I don't know. You're the player. That's true. Uh... As far as I can tell, none of the city-states... Like, we're not... Oh, wait, I guess we're, we're kind of friends with Hong Kong. Well, like, that's kind of a... We have to be, right? Because they're right beside us. Yeah. Wait, no, they're not. They are... Oh, I guess they kind of are. Oh, we made history. Are we the only... Ooh, what did we do? What did we do? Uh, for, for a second there, I thought I lost the game, and this was, like, the end screen. Because this is, oh. this is new to Rise and Fall. Uh, da, 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 da. The dangers on the doorstep of St. Petersburg has been defeated. The barbarians are driven away. Oh, this is cool. They have, like, a whole Ooh. kind of thing. You, We get, like, stuff. Yeah, I Villagers mean, it... bring gifts as they join your civilization. Damn straight they'd better. You, Zoldy95 pledged to 100 Schlumschlands and says, if I give 100k, can I get multiple flags? Uh, no. Well, no. We hand weave those flags. It takes a lot of time. We almost do, if by we you mean professionals. <laughs> We're professionals. But not at making of. flags. I mean, you know, I'm at, I can do the graphic design part of flags, but not at the the dying of the... Oh, Eckhart Slatter gave us one schlim schlam and said, keep the change. Target. Fuck that guy. His money's no good here. And not in the nice way, but in the mean way. Mitchell62201 says, send envoys to city-states. Also, get the governor. Get the what? Get the governor. I don't quite understand. Oh, yeah. They added governors, didn't they? How do you do that? What What does that mechanic look uh, like? I don't know. There's probably a button somewhere for it, right? Religion. Governors. Everyone's wanting us to take on the dot now side shot underscore and says completely uncivilized those duchies which is funny because i have a feeling that you're from the netherlands so that would be irony you know larissa but also things I pass the duchy on the left hand side eh? oh do tell oh uh intolerance for other people's cultures and the dutch that's, that's from, uh... And I'm all out of intolerance for other people's cultures. What the hell's that from? That's from, uh... Austin Powers. Oh my god. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those quotes that I know, even though I haven't seen the movie. I don't know much. But I do know that we need, need more workers. Let's steal them from the barbarians. Barbarians don't have workers. They're, uh... What do you call it? We'll Parasites. make them workers. I wish you could enslave people. Civ needs to be, like, more, uh, brutal in its application of certain concepts, like Stellaris is. Well, but then you wouldn't, uh, appeal to the little kitties. That's true. Well, they wouldn't know what they're doing anyways. Ooh, a traitor. I'm gonna do that. That's good. Oh, and he finally got an additional warrior, just in time for us not to need him anymore. Oh, uh, apparently you can enslave people with the Aztecs, but not with the Barbs, just other civilizations. Were the Aztecs good at slavery? I wasn't aware of this. Well, I mean, they did blood sacrificing, which is kind of slavery. And I imagine they did do slavery because that was rage at the time. <laughs> yeah, the rage at the time. All over the world. People were big into yeah. slavery back then. Yeah. We should probably stop Woo! talking about this. Another ten shlim shlams. Yeah. Davis is just like making it rain over here.
Oh, side shot says their unit gives a chance to turn enemies into builders. That's a neat little uh, perk. That is cool. Uh, the Netherlands was mad that we don't want to trade with them, but I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I thought we were friends. Excuse the black screen for that. I got to check out some stuff. Well, let's start trading with them before we piss off the Dutchies. The Dutchies. Is that racist? Pass the Dutchies on the left-hand side. Okay, I have tried to declare a friendship, and she's totally into it. This is now a dating simulator That's with great. the Queen of the Dutch. Ooh. Her some flowers, because she already sent you flowers. We're probably sending her, her, like, furs or Russian stuff, I'd imagine. Just those furry hats. Yeah, a Just Yushenka. all the furry hats. I got a Yushenka. I've been Yushenka. wearing it often. It's been uh, cold lately. Do you ever wear that uh, toque thing that I, I made do. for you? The, uh, the night helmet, yeah. Yeah, I I made a little uh, uh, skull cap for you Americans um, that also had like this visor thing that would go down and cover your mouth like a scarf, and it was shaped like a knight's helmet. It was great. It was great. It doesn't do a good job of deflecting arrows, though. I learned that the hard way. Well, I mean, it is just made out of cotton, so. Well, that would have been good to know beforehand. Uh oh, more barbarians. Oh no, not the barbarians! The barbs. The barbarians says, have another raiding party our way, but this time we're ready. We are ready. Uh, Kavis says, might not help with this streaming session, but are you running OBS as an administrator? Apparently that can be a cause of Civ 6 strangeness. Ooh, I, I would assume so, but maybe not. I'll have to look into that. Let's find out later, but today we'll just have to suffer through the black screens. Mm. Which is unfortunate, but suffering is art. And the black screens add an air of mystery. I thought Clay Does must it, feel Janice happy cheered! It we get another hundred shrimp slams. Vengeance for your brothers, my barbs. With air so I'm confused, is a cheer for the barbs or against the barbs? Yeah, you, because you we've cheer... gotten both. Oh, I don't actually know. This is my favorite Civ quote. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. Or they just didn't want to go outside in the Mediterranean heat. It is quite hot in the Mediterranean. Uh, you know what? I'm going to switch over to colonization, maybe, because I feel like we need more cities. Let's expand. Make the territory of Mother Russia as great as the sky. It has to be, right? Because we gotta... If you're role-playing as Russia, we need as much territory as possible. And I always role-play as Russia. Like, even in my day-to-day -day stuff. Eat it, barbs. Oh, yeah, I killed a couple of them. We'll be assimilated. I love how there's explosions when you're shooting arrows at them. Yeah, just like real life. It's arrows. I think Lord of the Rings did more for arrows than anything else, right? Because before that in movies, arrows were just kind of like bleh. But now they have that like thump sound. It's not that sound. It's like a, it's like a, psh. it's like, you know that sound? It's like a thump. Yep. Yeah. And it's kind of got that wang thing in it. Oh my God. Okay. We're going to point a governor. Who do we want? I'm going to leave this up for a bit so we can, we can pick people here. Ooh. Uh, air defense initiative. Maybe not the best choice for 2000 BC. I don't know. Victor the Castilian looks super Russian. I kind of want a bishop. Because <laughs> I want the cardinal. Because I want to get religion going. Oh, I see. Uh, Sir Fergus says, I like Imani. She looks friendly. Zoldi says, Magnus. The steward. Magnus looks like an Irish mobster. Yeah, I actually kind of like Magnus. Yeah, let's do Magnus. He's got a cool hat. That's it, not for me, right? So it's a it's a bowler, right? That's a bowler hat. Yeah, we'll put him in St. Petersburg. That's cool. Hopefully that does something. I'm still new to this. Oh, Magnus gives free settlers. It's glorious. Well, not oh, really? free, but you don't have to pay pops in the city it's built. 
Uh, Gandhi wants a deal for open borders, and I said, fuck off. Ew. No. We will not have an EU situation on our hands. We don't like the EU? If you're outside the EU, it sucks. A lot of people don't like the UN. Yeah, I don't... This? I didn't know that there was so much animosity to the UN. Like, I, I think they're kind of useless, but I think it's a good institution. I don't know why people would hate it so much. It's a good idea, it's just nothing gets done. Yeah, but like, I mean, that's like everything, so. Alright, so far everything is looking pretty okay. Yeah, it's, it's looking, we're looking wealthy. Yeah. Are our people happy? I wish I had more faith in this game. Mm, I, I, I don't have faith. any tundra, though. <laughs> you gotta have faith. Ooh, Bringing up all of the old style pop culture references here. How come certain people have stars next to their names in Twitch chat? Is that because they donated stuff? I think so, and then the little badge is the people who donated the most. Oh, good for them. What's the current number to beat? Uh, Zoldine95 oh at 1,600 shlim shlams. That's a lot of shlim shlams. All the shlim shlams. We'll be able to buy all sorts of cheese with those shlim shlams. What are you going to do with your shlair, the shlim shlams? <laughs> I'm just going to buy cheese and eat that for the rest of the month. Cheese is good. We spent 300 bucks on cheese for fondue this year. Ah, uh, yes. I did I did regret not having the opportunity to eat fondue with you. It was but. unbelievable. But I I had like a screwdriver or something and then I went to bed at like 12:15. So <laughs> I'm a bit of a, a wet blanket at parties. Really? Is being the only got, one who knows you're afraid. Oh, the little starred people in chat are our subs. Thanks, oh, really? Gasu. Thank you. I guess we should get better at, at knowing these things, right? If we're going to ask people to donate money. Yeah, thanks for teaching us the ways of Twitch people. It's our first day. We're still new. Ooh, mysticism. That's the way to go. Zoldi95. Just cheered 150 Schlim Schlams and said that we should buy Dutch cheese with their Schlim Schlam Schlams. I do nuts. love Dutch cheese, especially a good Edom or like a Hauda. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do that. I don't like those cheeses very much. What? I think you're wrong. <gasps> How dare you? Applewood smoked cheddar is where it's at. Ugh, so American. What, you don't like Applewood smoked cheddar? It's fine. It's just not the best cheese. Okay, you're full of shit. Ugh. Are you going to start another, another civil war over types of cheeses? I'm going to start another YouTube channel and update that one instead. Because I, I Whoa. Had it with you. Whoa. Dude. Why? Your anti-cheese agenda has got to gotta stop. Your anti-good cheese agenda, I should say. I'm anti-good cheese. You're the one who doesn't like eat them. Eat them's fine. It's fine. Hello, mystery potato. Oh, wait. I gotta check something. In, in, I'm gonna pause this for one second. I, I need to see if something's working. Uh. Appleman638 okay, just subscribed. Really? Oh, Thank yeah. We have, we have an emblem, people. Yeah. I, there's an emote in the chat. I don't know what you need to use it, but uh, use it. We've also done more uh, work to getting currency, so that's nice. Yeah, let's build up our power. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> power. How long does the average Civ game take, do you think? I don't know, probably as long as a game of Risk. So, that's, uh, what do you call it? Three hours a week. How many weeks do you think it takes to, to uh, finish this 52. game? 52. 52 weeks? We're going to be at this all year? Yep. Oh, okay. Every every week, we're going to play the same game of Civilization. Ugh. Well, we got to move on to Stellaris soon, because I'm finally getting good at that. 
Mary, you've been training. Like I have been. Rocky style montages. Human condition to want to share things. We've unlocked writing. Ooh, scientific. Let's move on to irrigation, I guess. Although, is that even going to help us at all? Wait, plantation. We need plantations. We we need. Oh yeah, irrigation. Okay, irrigation it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Sideshot underscore and L says, I really love the effort you guys put into the channel with the aesthetic and all that. Although I don't see the meaning of the logo. Is it a T? Ooh. What is the meaning of the logo there? Uh, there is... is a deep meaning to the logo. A huge meaning. There is absolutely no chance that I would come up with a logo and then make a video talking about how much logos mean without having some sort of meaning. Basically, my rambling is saying there is a meaning, but it's secret. Ooh, secret. Secret, secret. Uh, Mystery Potato just cheers 100 bits and said, I need my badge. Okay, update with the badges. Uh, we have no updates. I think they the mean... Badges. Wait, do they mean the the, uh, the Twitch badge or the actual badges? Uh, I don't know. Well, let's talk about Patreon badges because I know people want those. Yeah, let's, let's, talk, let's talk about that. For all of our patrons who have pledged to us, um, every physical reward includes a patch. And of course, the patches are not going to be ready for at least another two weeks um which is unfortunate yeah and i think what i said is like uh we're just waiting on on the final design and, and hopefully it'll turn out all right <laughs> yeah fingers crossed with that we have a backup plan but backup plan is also going to take a while so yeah yeah and i think we'll, we'll set it up that even if someone cancels after the first month they still get their their patch uh so they don't screw anybody over yeah. We also it'll, made history. it'll be great. Oh, we made history? What did we do? We built what the lab wrap. Ooh. A holy place. It is a holy place. No tundra, though. I was kind of hoping for some tundra. Eh. Russia can live without tundra. Russia is, a, is where the people are, not the place. But all my bonuses are based on tundra. Well... Let's find some tundra and take it over. I've been looking, but I think we're at the top of the map. I think we might be on like an island or something. No, this is a pretty big island. I don't know. It's somewhere out there. Some oh, damn it, you do. You're the better voice. Out there. Scout Gaming Dude 134 says, You're right. Russia finds the way. Oh, okay. Life finds a way? No. Russia finds a way. That's like, uh, what do you call them? In Thor. Asgard's not a place, it's a people. Exactly. Thanks for all the, uh, the bits, by the way. Yeah, all the bitty schlim schlam bits. This is probably the wrong thing to say, but don't you have anything better to do with your money? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they don't. That's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm just, I don't want to, you know. <laughs> I don't want people to be like, yeah, sorry, I invested all my money in bits for Temple Institute. You know what? It's a, it's a worthy investment into the arts. Yeah. There's no return on that investment, but. Uh... Well, no, there is, there is a, a, a return on the investment for other people. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess if you, can you put a price on fun? Fun has compound interest. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, I don't know anything about money, so. I don't know. I don't know that much about investing yet. I'm listening to podcasts, but I'm not paying attention. There's always money in the banana stand. That's what I think. No, don't put money in the banana stand. I'm to run that scout away. I think. I need more cities. This is bothering me that I don't have more cities. Zoldi95 donated 250 schlumschlams and said, Money is a bourgeois concept anyway. Oh, the irony. <laughs> Why don't we have any ports yet? Let's get some, like, I I, well, we oceanic. Have yet, but Moscow's ah. in a prime position. Yes. We need them water boat things. What's, uh... What's uh, water in German? 
Wasser. We need Wasserstrom. Is that okay to say? Uh, I mean, right. it kind of sounds silly, but... So we can finally start the Pantheon. And usually when I play as Russia, I go for Dance of the Aurora because I get more faith from Tundra. But we don't have any Tundra. So now I don't know what to do. Oh no! God of the Forge? Oh, I thought it said God of the Force at first. That would have been cool. Border expansion rate is higher. That seems kind of good. Religious settlements. If you know what Pantheon to start, let me know in chat, because I really don't. Fertility rights, higher growth rate, that might be good. Yeah, that means that we can uh, get more people out there. Godless Kami says, if you build a fleet, never start war with Japan. Well, yeah, that's like standard stuff 101, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, Japan is pretty tough. I wouldn't mess with Japan. <laughs> God of the open sky. I kind of like that. Sideshot underscore NL says divine, divine spark is very good. Divine spark. Divine spark. Where is divine spark? Oh, divine spark. One great person point from holy site. Uh, yeah, that seems good. That actually does seem good. Let's do that. Divine spark. We're doing it. Oh, wait. Found this pantheon. Okay, we're good. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. Yeah, let's get uh, some more great profit points going. Oh, but I don't have anything for it. Never mind, I can't. All, All right. right, it has been an hour. Yeah, I you know. should probably get going because I've got to do some re-records for next week's episode. Ooh. Whoa. Look, I'm going to do some work with all these shlim shlams that you sent me. <laughs> and uh, Zoldi95 has now pledged or donated or cheers or whatever a total of 2,000 shlim shlams. So Stop wasting your money. No, I mean, keep, keep, keep giving us shlim shlams so I can keep recording because I like recording. And I'm sure if you guys didn't hate my voice. Uh, wait. If they didn't hate your voice, what? I. Uh, you guys like my voice, <laughs> donate shlim shlams. Okay, see okay. ya. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Thanks. Alright. Looks like it's just me. We're in it now, folks. I'll do my best to keep tabs on chat, but that was really uh, Larissa's domain, so excuse me if I forget to uh, uh, talk about stuff that's happening in chat. If you'd like Larissa to come back, donate Shlim Shlams. She won't, but it'll be still be nice. Except you, Zoldy95. You gotta retire. You can't waste all your uh, money on this. The man who has I mean, grit enough to bring you probably about should, though. the ah, don't or the irrigation of a country. It's trying to balance out having this as my career with also, you know, common sense. We got irrigation though, so we can get some incense, which I know is very important. So the Empire so far is pretty good. I need more settlers. Especially with Amsterdam down there. Sourdough stream hype. Yeah, that, that's definitely happening. Sour that's that's never happening. Food is a bourgeois concept anyways. Yeah. The proletariat don't need food. Not when I am running things. Oh my god, what's happening here? Time to run away, methinks. How did my scouts end up right next to this? Oh, no. Stay back, you fox. Come on, come on. Yes! All right, time to... Oh, whoop. okay, we're over here now. Hopefully they can't follow. Ooh, an oracle. Eh. But I need a settler. Gotta get on that first, I think. So is Zoldy95 still winning the bit race? Looks like he is. Someone's gotta take him down.
Yeah, I'm probably not be talking as much now that Larissa's gone. I feel like I can't talk very well when it's just me. Because I kind of just start rambling. Oh, no one wants to listen to that. And that scout did seem capable. Maybe they should be running things here. So Moscow is on the coast, so I kind of want that to be my main, like, naval dockyard place, but, uh, does it have enough mines to make that doable? I don't know. Yeah, probably. There's a lot of hills here. I could probably mine that up, get some money from this place, get a kind of well-rounded area. I feel like St. Petersburg needs to be a science center because I got that great spot right there, but also religious because I got that thing. Split personalities between Mark with a C and Mark with a K. Yeah, I feel like the opposite of me would be... What? A guy who can talk very well, never slurs his words, and uh, uses a Mac. That's right, Mark. I do use a Mac. That's what he'd sound like, I imagine. And what do we need? What do we need? No good bonuses for campus. No good bonuses for Lavrov. Now yeah, let's just build it up. Yeah, I feel like we should switch these cities' names, maybe. Because St. Petersburg should be on the coast and Moscow should be in the, in the interior. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profit. Yeah, let's see. I gotta change out my government here, but, uh, not there yet. I really hope I can found a religion before they all, uh, get, uh, ooh, what the hell is this? Uh, that's pretty cool. This is new for Rise and Fall, so I don't exactly know what to do. I guess I'll just promote him, right? Or no, I can appoint another one, maybe? I see. Well... Maybe what we should do is we'll appoint the Cardinal in Moscow, and we'll move other dude... No, we'll, we'll appoint him to St. Petersburg. And then we'll assign Magnus to Moscow. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, right? Oh shit, is that how I got free settlers? By promoting... Okay, well, next time. Sorry, Zoldy95. Twitch sponsor. Not a huge amount of area to expand. I wouldn't mind maybe going over to Antioch a bit more, because... Is he telling me to go there? Why there? Oh, I guess that's okay. Some donkey or horses. Oh, this is new too. Oh yeah, we'd lose loyalty if we went over there. Ooh shit, and looks like someone's over there too, because ah damn. That's not so great. I don't have a lot of places to expand. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll go there. Now that I can finally afford that, we'll get ourselves a campus. Get some science going. Yeah, science, bitch! Someone said the coast on the left. But there's no good spots on the left. It's all just desert. move some scouts over there, see what's up. Welcome to the Civ 6 Frustration Center. If you think I'm doing a bad job, 
doing eight more of those bit things. Ooh, we're in the classical era. That's nice, I guess. I'm also interested in Got creating. Some bronze working. Make dedication. This is also new. What the hell does this mean? Ha! Huh. I'm at a normal age. Okay. I can make a dedication. How do I make a dedication? Ooh. Exodus, Exodus of the Evangelist. That's kind of neat. Yeah. What do you think, chat? What do I do? Which one of these things? Because I earned a normal age. Oh, I guess you can make more than one if you got a golden age. Alright, what's it going to be, folks? What's it going to be? Tell me, because I really don't know. I think I'm going for the evangelist one. I kind of want to get religion going. That's always fun, right? All right, fuck it. Evangelist it is. Not my fault no one said anything. Maybe sailing too. Well, the Exodus has it. Welcome, Mr. Jetstorm. I hope you're not too badly disappointed. Unfortunately, it's just me, so I gotta just ramble to myself. Which is fine. That's fine. I got, I got lots of things to say. Oh my god. Can someone in Twitch chat tell me if can you only use the template emote of your subscriber? Uh oh, Moscow needs more amenities. That ain't great. I wish I was better at this game. That's a shame. I was hoping everyone could use that emote because it's a cool one. Good old template logo. So currently, we got no games scheduled for um, Wildcard Wednesday this upcoming week. So what games should we do on Wednesday? More Battlestar Deadlock with Space Dock, Old Mulder Mastered, Empire at War. What do you say? We got Tula. Tula on the march. Ah, let's see. Tula. I think we're going to name this in honor of our top bit man. Zoldengrad. Hope you enjoy, Mr. Zolden95. Or Zoldy95. And no, you don't get a hint. You get a city, but you don't get a hint. Oh, uh, <laughs> the Netherlands is not happy that we settled so close, and I told him to fuck off. Mm. 
You're then declared war on America. Vessels large may venture more, but little boats should keep near shore. Good advice, Sean Bean. Good advice. We need to get Moscow's industrial power up there. Time to build some mines, I reckon. And get some celestial navigation. Can I build a harbor yet? I would assume so. Or shipbuilding, maybe. Oh, no. Harbor. That's what we need. Okay. Ooh, great person. Can we get a prophet? Yes, we can. Time to start a religion, folks. Look first. Let's build a monument. All right. Religion founding time. Maybe next turn, if not this time. Next turn it is. Uh, I want names for the religion. Who's got a good name? Divide and rule a sound Ooh, new government, too. That's nice. Ooh, autocracy, classical republic. Uh, let's go classical republic. I'm not planning to go to war that soon, so... Unless Amsterdam starts some shit. Uh... I wouldn't mind some more gold. That seems like a good one. Wild card, though. Wild card. I always feel this says kafafe, but I guess I'm wrong. Eh. Land surveys, I guess, because we're going to be buying a lot of land. And we'll get charismatic leader. And maybe more trade routes. Tell me if I'm fucking this up, folks. I think I'm, I'm okay at Civ, but not, a, not amazing. No one's a fan of Deutschland. I mean, the Dutch. Oh, we're also a classical republic. Okay. And we are... Okay, that was weird. Time to found a religion. And also start drama and poetry. Why not? And we got our going. Okay, so we already got Taoism and Islam. So you could be Buddhist, Catholic. We need a good symbol, I mean. That's obviously the most important thing, right? Got some fish, snakes, a weird swan looking thing, a butterfly, elephant, a crab. That's kind of odd. Sikhism has a cool emblem. Same with Buddhism. Uh, but... This scorpion is kind of calling to me. Uh, yeah. And there's only one thing we can name a scorpion religion. If you're in chat and know what it is, call it out. We are going with the Brotherhood of Nod. The Brotherhood of Nod is our state religion. Did I spell that right? I think I did. Okay, we're good. And what do we like? What do we like? Work ethic. That's kind of good, right? What's a good uh, religious belief here, folks? Relics. I've never done a relic thing, so that's probably not it. Work ethic seems kind of good. I like that. We encourage a strong work ethic in the Brotherhood. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Eh, eh, work ethic. Oh boy, we got one more here. Cathedrals, mosques. Uh, what do we like? What do we like? I always went teeth because I liked uh, or tithe, teeth, tithe. So money's good. Peace through power, indeed. Um. Ooh, religious colonization. That seems kind of neat. Scripture. I like. I, I want to be able to spread this as far as we can go. Maybe a holy order. World church. What, what do you think, folks? Papal primacy. 
Huh. I think I'll probably do Tithe. Right? What do you think? Yeah, one gold for every four followers. If we get a lot of followers, that's some good money. Alright, let's do it. The Brotherhood is founded. <laughs> that's pretty cool. They got the little symbol in there. The Brotherhood of Nod is the truth path of salvation. Please ignore all the other ones. Yeah, that seems about right. Ooh, I'm not apprenticeman. Apprenticeship. We got a, uh, we got a, I don't know if it's going to be a good episode. It's going to be a controversial episode coming out on Monday. I'm going to be real interested to see the, uh, the comment section. I mean, I, it's going to be a well-made episode, but whether people like it, that's going to be interesting. So I'll just hype that up a bit. I can't tell you what it's on, but it's been requested. As it turns go, out, oh, what do we got here? Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled, so I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. No Wi-Fi on Mount Kilimanjaro. That's kind of bullshit. We do need to find Tiberium. Netherlands doing some good work clearing all those barbarians. How are the Netherlands doing? He's doing alright. Oh, and let's connect up Zoldengrad to the Empire here. I like to get roads everywhere. Actually, you know what? I should switch it out from Moscow. I should, uh... We're gonna transfer him to St. Petersburg and get him to spread religion to Zoldenstan, or whatever we called it. Zolden, Zoldengrad. And why not? Let's get another settler going. Let's get some territory. Is it Cavus or Cavus? I'd hate to get your name wrong. In any case, thanks for the slip slaps or slim slams. And thanks again, Zoldi95. You're uh, spending too much money, I assume. Right? Those are one cent for one thing. Cavus? Cavus? Cavus it is. So we're an hour and a half into it. How's the audio quality? Is it still a little low? What should Moscow be doing? More builders, I guess. Government Plaza, is that new? Oh, it helps with loyalty. We're already pretty loyal, so I guess we don't need that too badly. And the audio seems fine. Well, that's good. This was supposed to be our production hub, so I guess I, I won't build anything. Just another building. 
A perfect five out of seven. Oh shit, they're displeased. How the fuck do I get amenities? Does anyone know? Huh. Well, we'll get on that. A lot of new stuff here. items, eh? Several closely Ooh. situated granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth dramatically soar about a kilometer into the sky. Torres the Pain. I kind of miss the artwork they used. Uh... Oh, hey. We got Hong Kong on our side. Well, that ain't so bad at all. India founded Hinduism. Makes sense. Hong Kong has a lot of soldiers. At least more than I do, I think. Ooh, India has a bunch of cities to the south. Don't know what Washington's up to, but it can't be too good. Yeah, let's check out this area. I feel, I feel like this is the natural area to expand into, but I'm assuming there's another civilization right there. Maybe America has some more cities up there. Uh, what DLC and mods? We got all the DLC, Rise and Fall, the most uh, important, obviously. And then mods, we got uh, um, Red, the mod pack that... Um, just changes the way units looks and makes them a bit smaller, but adds more units per per unit. And then I think just a couple cosmetic ones. Yeah, we, we gotta spread the faith a bit more, I think, too. And all I ask is a tall ship. Ooh. We got celestial navigation entering the classical era. Maybe we should get some horses going. Or some currency. Let's do currency. Yeah, let's get some missionaries going. Who should we convert? Uh, India? Well, India's got Hinduism, so I guess we should go for Amsterdam. Yeah, we're going to lose loyalty if we go over here, so I guess someone's over there. But still, I wouldn't mind getting that river access. I never trust these recommended settlement uh, areas. Uh, I feel like this is kind of a good place. I'm gonna go there. Maybe. Yeah, let's go there. Fuck it. Alright, time to uh, educate the Dutch and the Brotherhood. So Moscow is centered on production, St. Petersburg is on science and faith. We'll get Zoldengrad on money, I think. Oh, the hog, the hag, the hog, something's over there. The 
poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. The poets have been silent on cheese. Wonder what's up with that. We were talking about it earlier though, so it's not our fault. Theology, yeah. Get some more not action going. Zanzibar in America, going at it. Man, India really knows what they're doing. All right, harbor time. And we'll get some more luxury resources for Moscow, I guess, if that's what they really want. Oh boy, Moscow overtook St. Petersburg in terms of population. Maybe because I'm settling so much. I wonder if there is a mod that adds Tiberium to save. That'd be pretty cool. But then your population would start mutating, so maybe you don't want that. All right, time to spread the faith. Yeah, welcome to the Brotherhood, maybe. Not quite yet. I wonder how our loyalty is doing. I know we're at kind of a risk, but I don't think it's terrible. So we'll build another builder here. Actually, no, let's get a monument going. I always like monuments. I guess I should pay attention to what these guys do, right? Money, if it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Money. He said money weird. Alright, more nod for the Netherlands. Oh, I think they're, they've turned. Yep, the Brotherhood has spread. Should we get walls, maybe? I don't know. Maybe shipbuilding? Now the wheel. we got to get on the wheel. I think we've kind of fallen behind in that regard. All right, we got a new city here. Uh, if you want the city near enough to you, say something in chat. Maybe your city name, for example. That's fine, I can wait. Oh, I think oh, I, I guess there is a delay, isn't there? Never mind. Uh oh. Well, we can't name it after Australia because we are Russia. Kamesgrad. That doesn't really work so well. Kamengrad, maybe? Janus is in second place, so I guess we'll do Janusgrad. Whoops. Janusgrad. 
Januscrat it is. Hopefully he's still around to see this. Janistan. Yep, better name. The Janistan. Good. And I'm, I'm boxed in by Indy over here. Stan is land, Grad is city, but I think we can, you know, mark that up a bit. More progress to feudalism. I guess that's something. Washington is Protestant. Huh. That also makes sense. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just re we can Got no the wheel more have exact religious and theology without theology. No, uh, nothing crazy. Horseback riding time, I think. More envoys to Hong Kong or somewhere else? Well, we got Hong Kong on our side, whereas Antioch is not. Eh. We'll stick with Hong Kong. They've been good to us. Yeah, we will not ion, ion cannon Sarajevo. That seems like a bad idea. Or new Sarajevo. more brotherhood going on in there. I feel like we should get this tobacco before the Dutch do. Aha! That'll learn him. Did we have any suggestions for what game to play on Wednesday? I forgot to check chat. Looking for non-grand strategy stuff this time around. turn it is. I like the music in this game. The way it progresses through the arrows is fantastic, he says as he talks over it. Life is wasted that is spent in the saddle. Ah, what do you know, Churchill? I have never been in a horse saddle, and I think I'm doing just fine. Ooh, another great person. Scientist this time around. That's good. What can you do? Ooh, Eureka. Alrighty, sounds good.
Another settler, maybe? Yeah, why not? Gotta keep the expansion going. CNC 3. Damn, maybe. Um, I'd have to make sure I can stream okay on OBS. I know uh, some older games have issues, but I feel like that'd be new enough. Maybe a multiplayer game, too, if enough people have, an ac uh, have access to it. Do uh, many people in chat have seen C3? Yeah, CNC Online, is that a third-party thing, or is that um, something official? Because if it's a pain in the ass to play online, like Red Alert 3 is, then that might be an issue. Tried to get that going with a friend of mine, and we had no luck whatsoever. Huh, no one's over there. That is ripe for expansion, then. That's where we're headed. Red Alert 3 was great, too. I know it was kind of divisive, but I was a huge fan of the naval emphasis. Emphasis. The Janus Dam looks kind of nice. Got a lake and some ocean. Hmm, commercial hub it is. Baltimore. Apart from those barbarians, pretty peaceful so far. Which I know is boring for streams, but good for the Empire. Oh, never mind. We just got declared war on by Gandhi. Of course, of course. So we're now at war. Oh my god, with India and America. Why don't they like me? Well, thankfully, Hong Kong is tearing shit up, so that's good. When wasteful war. All right, time to move our archers down south towards Antioch. That's the second time that's happened. In PUBG, in PUBG, I was like, "Well, at least I didn't get shot at," and then immediately got shot at. In this, I'm like, "Well, it's been pretty peaceful," and then I get declared war on. So fuck. Gotta keep Hong Kong on our side, because they're going to do the heavy lifting. And Moscow needs walls. But I can't afford it, so we'll get an archer instead. Man, I'm glad Hong Kong's on my side. Nice.
Oh, meanwhile, Antioch has taken on Moscow. That's People not great. People cannot find time for it. All right, had to. We don't have any military policies. Ah, shit. Okay. Um. Maybe whatever this is, a go, a goge, a goji, something. Whatever that is, we're doing it. Need some more ranged stuff. Wait, no, that's anti-cavalry. What am I saying? Ranged, ranged, ranged. Oh, anti-cavalry and ranged. Gotcha. Okay, we're good. Huh, Moscow's under attack, but Hong Kong's doing well to the south. Gotta get my archers near Moscow to reinforce the front. I should have moved them down south sooner, but the peace was uh, luring me into a false sense of safety here. Defensive tactics seems like a good call. Well, so far, the war seems to be going kind of well. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Alright, now the might of the Russian Empire comes crashing down on these fucks. Yeah! He who comes to Russia with the sword, by the sword shall perish. Not a great time to get my settler over there now, though. That's kind of too bad. I could settle in the interior. Not a lot of fresh water, though. I think we'll stick to the plan, go over there, but we'll just keep the settler in reserve for a while. And I don't know what the scout's doing. I guess getting out of India. Uh, should we try the Oracle? 14 turns. I guess we can probably manage that. Not a ton of space, though. Maybe not. Maybe just the temple for now. Give ourselves more faith. Oh, otherwise oh, our scout getting fucked over. Alright, run, buddy, but he's not gonna make it. Russian army's coming in. Coming into Moscow. You know, if we could take over Antioch, that would be something. But it has a lot of defenses, and we don't have a huge army at the moment. Not a siege equipment either, but maybe Hong Kong can give us a hand. Yeah, okay. The new goal for the war is to take over Antioch. Looks like Hong Kong read my mind. <laughs> Gotta get these archers across the river. Reinforce the front! going on to the south. I can't tell how Hong Kong is doing. I think they're doing alright. Or maybe not. Ooh, boy. Ooh, nice. And we got our first boat. I guess that's enough to make history. First boat. Might as well raid these fishermen, I think. But we can't yet, so we'll do the next turn. Get our archers along the hills here. Can I build any siege stuff? That's what I'm wondering. A battering ram. Heavy chair. Yeah, let's get a battering ram. I don't normally build that early game stuff, but why not?
X3 TC is X3 the Terran conflict, right? I'm not super familiar with that game. You might have to catch me up on it. Oh boy, okay, black screen, so bear with me here. Uh they want to give a they want jade for incense. We already got incense. No, they want someone wants something from the Dutch here. I'll accept it. Why not? Apologies for the black screen, folks. That is Sib's fault, not mine. At least that's what the assumption is. Ooh. A lot of fighting between Hong Kong and Antioch still. That's pretty cool. I think Hong Kong isn't doing so great, though. Gotta get them archers in position. Everything has its limit. Iron ore cannot be educated. But now we got our guys in the fight to help them out from the other front. I think we can clear these assholes out. The Mother Russia! Oh, we got more barbarians up here now. Damn it. Wait, I plunder units to heal my galley? I didn't know my galley was damaged. Ooh, I guess we need some catapults. Better than siege towers. I'm back! Yeah! We're at war with America and India, which in this game just means that we're at war with Antioch since they're the most powerful. Hello? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Oh my god. Well, I can hear you, which means the chat can hear you. If you can't hear me, that's your fault. Hello? Yes, hello. I'm going to imagine it's Larissa's fault, given that she was recording earlier. Probably messed up her mic. Alright, apologies for being AFK for a second there, telling Melissa what to do, which I might even be wrong about, so who knows. But I think we gotta help out uh, Hong Kong against Antioch here. We gotta get that cattle. We gotta get that cattle to Darwin! Meanwhile, the settlers want to sleep. And I'll just keep raiding Antioch's Crab fisherman. Ooh. New settlement in Grogan, Grogan something. Alright, maybe it's my Discord that's broken. I'm gonna restart it real quick. People in chat can still hear me, right? I haven't been talking to myself this entire time. Defense is superior to opulence. I'm pretty sure you can hear me, because I can see my audio levels in OBS, so, yeah. Ha-ha! I can hear you! Aha! I knew it was your fault. It wasn't my fault. I did nothing. Oh. Well, it was someone's fault, and it wasn't mine, hopefully. Well, I'm back, bitches! Ugh. 
Why do you gotta bring the B word into it? Because it's funny sounding. Okay. How you been? Oh, good. You know, doing some recording. It's great. Neat. Oh boy, is 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 the thing freaking out? I'm looking. It at, is freaking uh... out. It is freaking out. Everyone is like, you just have some serious problems with technical di difficulties. Hey, it, it works fine on my screen. I'm pretty sure it's OBS or uh, Civ that's the problem because this is ridiculous. Maybe you should restart OBS then. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's the game. Well, you gotta deal with it, folks. At least it's not a huge static blast killing everyone's ears. So we're making progress. Yeah, but like we can't watch, we can't see what you're doing. It's it's, it's only that screen. I'm, I'm, it'll it'll fix itself as soon as I'm off the uh, that screen. For whatever Ugh. reason, certain aspects of Civ don't react well to streaming. That's disappointing. It is. Meanwhile, I can't get a good angle on Antioch. We're at war with Antioch and also America, but America's not doing anything. Oh! How did we start a war with Antioch? Uh, India and America declared war on us, like, big jerks. Ugh, jerks. Luckily, Hong Kong's been helping us out quite a bit. Thanks, Hong Kong. Yeah, they're good. Uh, Zoldi95 says that it's the entire UI. Oh, really? Yeah, the UI's been stable for me for the last little bit. Yeah, because I'm looking at it on... By UI, do you mean the game UI or the template UI? Uh, I don't know. Because I'm watching it on the second monitor here, and, and the template AI seems pretty stable. Did you just say Templin AI? UI, UI. Don't give it away. Sorry, sorry. Seems to be the game UI. Yeah, it's only on certain screens. Um, we'll do some experiments uh, next chance we get. Figure what's out, what's going on. Okay, it looks like it seems to have stabilized. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, I'm imagining it's the governor's screen here. Let's try that again. We'll do some experiments. Well, give it a go. Oh, It'll be an adventure. It seems to be working this time. I don't know what's up. Huh, maybe it just didn't like it when I joined. Yeah, I don't think anyone liked it when you joined. Ouch! What? Just for that, you don't get any sourdough. I don't like sourdough. That's fine. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're your sourdough clearly is great. the inferior human. Oh my god. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Yeah, but whatever. So recording went well? Yes. Yes, it went well. I recorded the thing. I sent you the thing. Yay! That'll be finished today. Yay! I got we'll a have the ram. episode ready for Monday. On time this time. What do you mean? They're always on time. They always are. But there's always that little bit of, oh god, what if we don't make it? Yeah. How come none of these seem to do a ranged attack? Probably because they already have, I'm assuming. Godless Kami. Ooh, you've gotten a color upgrade since I left. Uh, Godless Kami says, the real Larista, real human being. Did you say I am Larista? a real human being. Shut up. It was a, it was a minor <laughs> error. Larissa. I used up all of my articulation skills on the recording. And I now I'm just a any, sloppy so mess. You're better than me. Yeah. But we knew that, right? Yeah, we did. Hey, but yes, so I quickly. am a real human being. I promise. So here's the Empire. Four cities. St. Petersburg, Moscow, Zoldengrad, and Djanistan. Djanistan. Ooh, yeah, that's a good name, that's isn't fun. it? I think so. The oh, we also founded the Brotherhood of Nod as our state religion. Oh, okay. Logical. It's been doing pretty well. It's it's taken hold in Amsterdam and the Hog. The Hag. One of those. Hog. The Hog. Huh. <laughs> Someone said Larissa is glitching too. Very true. No, I'm not. Shush. Shush. Everything is fine. <laughs> 
Fisher2000, question. Just found the subreddit for you guys, but it's private. What do I have to do to gain access? It's not officially open yet, so you have to wait. Or send us 100,000 bits. Or that. Man, I'm getting screwed over by Antioch here. I don't have the siege for this shit. So, is it just Antioch that's giving you a problem? Do they have another city? Uh, yeah, they're, they're a city-state, so they're on their own. But they're part of America, kind of. They're allied. Uh, I just killed off my warriors by mistake. Uh, I'm uh -oh. this. I wish Hong Kong would help me more. Yeah, come on. Hey, what are, what's Genghis Khan up to? We haven't met him yet. I'm sure he's very busy with uh, the pillaging and, and so forth. And the spreading his genetic material across all of Europe and Asia. Yeah, he's very good at that. Oh, we got Homer, the classical writer. Ooh. Wait, why is he with us? That doesn't make sense. Welcome to Civ, baby. <laughs> Create good, great work. Yeah, okay. Yes, that we will create great works. Goal. We, we will be Iliad. legendary. But let me first do some great thing. Hmm, all right. Uh, Christendom says, for real though, the Patreon should have indicated we throw money out of the windows at Templin. I'm fine with it. I mean... Yeah, I'm okay with that. I mean, it means that we can afford to work full-time on Templin, so that's only a good thing. I hope people aren't ruining their uh, financial livelihood over this, but at the same time, I'm not going to look into it too closely. Godless Kami says, The Siege of Antioch, what a great poem. It does sound like an epic, doesn't it? Oh, we just lost a warrior. Siege of Antioch. Shit. Okay, throw dead bodies into their water source. Uh, we are, because uh, we're getting hit by a catapult. Yeah, but are you putting the dead bodies into their water source? If they drink from the sea, then yes. Okay, great. Fun fact, Frederick Barbarossa did that. Good for him. Yes. I always hoped he'd make something of himself. Yeah, he was he was a great man. <laughs> He's probably did I ever tell you? Right did I ever tell you that I was actually planning on writing a television show? Starring Frederick Barbarossa? Wouldn't it have been hard to cast him? He's been dead for a while. Well, that's why you just cast an imitator. <laughs> like, you just get one of those Elvis impersonators, but you do it for Frederick Barbarossa. They're called actors. Oh! I know this is news to you, but that's what they are. You know what? That answers See, those, so many questions. those people on the screen, they're not real. All right. Okay, now you've confused me again. Oh. Well, I guess I can't help you. So, uh, how'd it go, the, the, um, thing? The thing. You're so specific. Uh, the Can TV you... show you were writing about, Frederick. Oh, that's Barba. stagnated. Ah. Uh. I still love it, and I still want to do it, but I just... <sighs> I don't like writing. Yeah, writing sucks. Speaking of which, I'll have that next year for you as soon as I can. Perfect. I should get started on my next script. <laughs> yeah. Normal people believe that if it ain't broke. And here now we're just devolving into a uh, an actual behind the scenes Templin meeting where we just say, "Oh, I should do that." Which subscriber do you hate the most, and why? Yeah, who's the cheapskate who only gave us one Schlim Schlam? Eckhart's ladder. Let's get him. Let's get him. Getting attacked by India and barbarians near Saint Petersburg, so that ain't great. <gasps> uh oh. We got walls now, so we can we can handle it. We can take him. The Mahabadi Jetstorm says Temple. thanks for the stream, guys. I'm gonna head off now. Bye, Jetstorm. Leave. There's we no leaving you. in baseball. Well, it's a good thing this ain't baseball. Oh, okay. Let's Build it and they will come. Is that like, what that is? I like that movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. Remember that? Yes, it was a little creepy. Ease is bay. Still creepy. Well, whatever. 
If you don't like it, you can get it. I don't know what so, to do Homer. He gave me his Iliad and now he's just kind of hanging around. Well, I guess just wait and then he'll he'll make the Odyssey in a bit. Yeah, okay. Fighting going on to the south near Hong Kong. Ooh, uh -oh. India has elephants. I guess that makes sense, right? India has what? Elephants. Oh. Yeah, that, that would make sense. War elephants. Finally sieging Antioch itself, though. Not doing a lot of damage. Do better. Huh, Words huh. of inspiration from Larissa. Do better. Why can't I attack Antioch with this battering ram? It seems like exactly the sort of thing it's made for. Maybe it's just You'd out of think. Points. Zoldi95 says, Beware the Varu! Yeah, they, they are kind of tough. But we're tougher. Are we, right? though? I don't, I don't think so. I'm not as tough as an elephant. Oh, yeah, here they go. They're just annihilating Hong Kong. Ooh, they're our allies, right? Yeah. Oops. So if they take out Hong Kong, then they get all of Hong Kong's resources, and then they're, like, right on our border. That's exactly. not ideal. It's not ideal. But... Oh! They're regrouping. Yeah, that'll be fun. I love how they move so quickly and then stand in a perfect line. That's like the key to warfare. Standing very yep. still. In perfect lines. Oh, wait. So do they stack on? Whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I Godless use... Kami says, also you... Used to need the melee infantry to siege cities in the past. Yeah, I probably need warriors to work that battering ram. I'm an idiot. Well, now it's just sitting there looking pretty. Yeah. Okay, well, we've exposed that I'm terrible at this game, but we knew that already, right? So it's not a huge deal. Well, it's not unexpected. Yeah. Like, no one's shocked, right? I'm not. Ooh, boy, that's hurt. What are your plans for the rest of the day, Mark? Editing video, making tea chicken tikka masala again. After again? the failure that was last night. Ugh, you just... You need to make some new things. Branch out. I have branched out. Tikka masala is the new thing. What was it before? Just pizza? Yeah, pizza and, like, other stuff. And steak. Oh, my. My steak is amazing. Everybody says their steak is amazing. Just get, like everybody uh, says their mom's lasagna is the best lasagna. You know, um, what's his face? Jesse Plemons from Breaking Bad? Jesse Pinkman? No, uh, I think, is, is that the actor's name, Jesse Plemons? Mm. He was like Todd, the creepy, yeah, he was, he was Todd, um, the creepy oh, guy in Breaking Bad. I didn't like, I didn't like Breaking Bad, so I didn't bother you to remember You didn't like Breaking Bad? I felt bad, but it's it's a show about terrible, terrible, terrible people. So. So. Couldn't do it. Wow. That's awful. Well, the point What's is. What's awful? Uh, that I didn't Jesse... like it. Wait, have you seen Black Mirror? I've seen most of Black Mirror. There are a couple episodes that I skipped. Did you just see the USS Callister? I watched the USS Callister. Okay, vote. the captain, the Captain Kirk guy. Uh, he worked okay. at the local butcher I use to learn about butchery. No way. Yes. No, I don't believe you. Uh, you don't have to. I can send you a photo. That's insane. Yeah, because they're that good. That's... Need... Eh. That's insane. I, I need some sort of government policy to help me fight, but I can't think of anything good here. Nothing really helps... I'll just do scripture. Help the religion out. Ooh, and we got... We're into feudalism. Which I guess is okay. It, it'll it work. I feel like the Siege of Antioch's going pretty well, actually. If I could get some warriors in there, I'd be good. But I don't... I don't have... Wait, didn't I have two warriors before? Where'd the other one go? 
This is embarrassing. Yeah, you need some infantry. Yeah, I've like lost some of my soul. Oh, they're over there. And they've been sitting over there for the entire war. Oh my god, that's embarrassing. Wow. Like five star general right here. Thank you. <laughs> uh I feel good about him being our commander in chief. Well, I just researched military training, so after five turns from now I won't have any excuses, but up until now I have had. Fair enough. Without mathematics, there's nothing. We, we also can got do. math. Yeah, math. Godless yeah. Kami wants to know. Wait, was that some Russian words that I will not attempt to pronounce because I don't understand this really alphabet? On the background, it yes, is. Yes, it was. Whatever you think it was. Oh, I was probably saying Kalinka. That's the famous Russian song. Uh, Zoldi agrees. Oh, okay. Have you played much, uh, Civ 6? We've already had this conversation oh, yeah, like two right. hours ago. The, uh, the music updates throughout the, uh, the eras. Oh, so it becomes more complex as, as you go along. Although the information eras suck because it gets all technical. Blech. Alright, Antioch's defenses are down. We're hitting the city itself now. I just gotta get my warriors over there. As we yeah. mentioned, they've been busy. They've been busy. They were sightseeing. With the thumbs up their butts. Meanwhile, St. Petersburg can attack some barbarians, which is good. Oh, and they got cannons now, too. That's pretty good. I Wait, who has the cannons? Powder. Antioch? Or... Oh, no, St. Petersburg. Ooh. I don't know how we got cannons all of a sudden, but that's what the garrison has. Shoot them. Shoot her! Shoot her! I like Jurassic Park. So I don't know great. where the elephants went, but Hong Kong's still doing pretty okay in the south. They're fighting in the jungles. Ooh. How very, very 70s. Yeah. Are there any, like, episodes we could do based around the Vietnam War? Because I like that. That was a cool era. I mean... Obviously, it was awful, right? But aside I, I from like the, the, aside from the mass deaths. Well, yeah, but I mean in a fictional context. Is there any good stuff that takes place in the seventies? Yeah. Is there any alternate history that we can do on the Vietnam era? Well, we could do the comedian from Watchmen. He was in Vietnam. That's true. Yeah. Or we could do someone from King or Kong Skull Island, the best movie of all time, after Godzilla. Hmm. You're the worst. Christendom approves of our Watchmen idea. Christendom? Yes. All of Christendom. All Plus. of Christendom. Yep. <laughs> but will anyone watch the Watchmen, do you think? Who watches the Watchmen? I don't think anyone does. No one does. That's why we've got to stop having the Watchmen. That's the whole point of the movie. Oh, uh, okay. And yes, I... World. I am a Watchmen movie person, not the comics, so fight me. Oh, God. I'm not a big Zack Snyder guy, you know? Yeah, I, I'm i not going to say that I liked the movie. That's just oh. what I've been exposed to. <laughs> that says it all. Yeah. I don't know. Some of Zack Snyder's stuff is cool. I liked I liked his first movie, Dawn of the Dead, and every, everything since then has just been not not great. Mm. We need to get another city state on our side because they're apparently better at this game than I am. Let's just take over Antioch and like take over. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely the plan. Yeah, spread the the knowledge of the Brotherhood. Uh, see the, the other options are right next to India though, so it'll just cause ah uh, whatever. We'll do uh. Nan Madol, maybe. No. Mahar Mahar somewhere. We'll do that. The purple one. All right, it's getting quiet. I don't like it. You don't like it? What? 
What? What? Huh? Say that again, Sonny? I think I prefer the quiet. <laughs> hey, shut up. Zoldy95 says, so I hope that Mark will survive till the atomic era. Uh, if we do, I'm sure he'll be the first one to get nuked. Well, Creates maybe. with the heart. Build. Ooh, I can make a dedication. Uh, this is one of those new things. Uh... World enters the medieval era. Yeah. I guess we'll do science or something. Do science. She blinded me with science. Oh, wait, plus two movement for all builders. May purchase civilian units with faith. That seems really good. I'm going to do that. Monumentality. All right, we got swordsmen. We'll pair it with a battering ram. And then we'll finally... And we'll video. take down Antioch. Yeah. Huzzah. There'll be no one to stop us this time. How come I can't... Am I still at war with Antioch? I'm not! Peace was made! What the hell happened? Wait, how did that happen? I don't know. I don't remember signing a peace treaty. We're still at war with America. Oh, I think I know what happened. America lost oh. their control over Antioch, so they dropped out of the war. But oh. we'll declare war on them again. Yes, we'll take them. I can't. I have to wait eight turns. God damn it. Oh, fine. They can survive. For now. Yeah, okay, they got eight turns to live, and then we're, we're on them again. Christendom says random peace is best peace, but peace is for the weak. That War does not sound business. like a very Christian thing to say. Yeah, Christendom. Godless Kami says, and that's how Swiss created the Battle Builder Corps. Fast moving anti barb infantry. <laughs> anti barb. Anti -barb. <laughs> so, are you just like a, a legion of demigorgons? I think so. We that's have perfect. the power to meet and defeat any barb at any opportunity on the battlefield. We are the Demigorgons. I like the American music in this too. See, I don't get to listen to the music because otherwise I hear the same conversation twice in my oh. headset and it's very disorienting, so I don't get to hear the glory that is yeah, the music the of civilization. Part. I know. Like, what the hell? You screwed up big time. Ugh, I am a disappointment. I've always said that. Well, Not now I know face, how though. you feel. <laughs> Hong Kong is catapulting Indians with catapults. And arrows. Are they catapulting the Indians physically? Like, they're uh, no. launching the bodies? It's rocks. Hmm. That Those elephants no have shown back up, though. The elephants. Uh, every time I see war age. elephant, ooh. No, That's we're in the saying. medieval age. But I mean, like our medieval age is a golden age, I think. I mean, all I know is there's like a golden halo around the turn order thing. Uh, interesting. Uh, I forgot what I was saying. Probably wasn't important. Yeah, probably not. Launching Indians at elephants. Right, elephants. Okay, every time I see war elephants, I think of Oliphants from Lord of the Rings, and I can't... I don't think you're alone in that. Yeah. I mean, they were so graceful and majestic and terrifying all at the same time. And they stepped on that horse? That was neat. And the Rohirrim came at him. Yeah. The Rohirrim uh, really the Rohir did all the heavy legwork in that battle and war. Yeah. Yeah. They, they did basically everything. Yeah, like Gondor collapsed pretty much immediately. Yeah, well, Gondor was yeah, ineffectual leadership. Yeah, they were on the way out. Yeah, they they were on the decline. Ooh, so Zoldy95 cheered 100 shrimp slams. Oh my god. And Sadler said, you can enjoy a great Civ song in the Discord. It's one of the songs that Mark says sucks, but he's wrong, obviously. What did I say I suck? will go listen to it. What, what did I say suck? I don't trust that. Probably the technological era, whatever. Oh, okay, yeah, it's probably right then. I need walls, but I 
can't afford them, I guess. Another archer it is. Hong Kong does need a ghost army. Alright, I don't think we can end this stream until we've taken over Antioch. <laughs> Have you stopped listening to me, Larissa? That's fine. That's a normal response. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm listening to the atomic version I've of lived through some Kalinka. In my life. I said the atomic version was good. Some of which actually happened. Now I'm trying to adjust the level so that I can hear both of you and the song all at once. Well, if you have to prioritize one. The song, obviously. Yeah. All right. Time to promote Magnus again. Get Moscow going. Christendom has to bounce. See ya, Christendom. Thanks for watching, Christendom. Yeah, All of Christendom. Much. All of Christendom tunes into the yeah. Templin Institute. Yes. Huzzah. So far, America hasn't done much in this war. They've just been kind of hanging out to the south here. They're biding their time. Strike before they get too strong. They're letting India do all the heavy work, but we're letting Hong Kong do all the heavy work, so it, it works out. How is Hong Kong faring in the fight against America? Uh, well, they're fighting India mostly, and those elephants are kind of fucking them up because they've come back after disappearing for a bit. Okay. Zoli95 says, but you said information era songs were bad and atomic era equals the information era. Oh, no, I thought information was after atomic era. Oh, shit, we got American horsemen on the horizon. Just when I was about <gasps> Not to the game. cavalry! Yeah. yeah. Union cavalry is coming in. Zoldi95 says they needed a holy hand grenade. The holy oh. hand grenade you shall only throw on three. Not on two. Not on four. I cannot imagine on any three. Condition. In 175, war was declared. Antioch is back in American control, so we're at war again. Damn it. Well, this is kind of good. I mean, we're in position. Can... We are ready? I think so. We are ready. Let's take them down. Whether we can do it in a single turn is dubious, though. Especially with those cavalry on the side. Let's do it. Do it swiftly. I'm and trying. With strength. We're going to give it a college try. I can promise that much. Well, you did mean? manage to graduate college, so there you go. I did, but I didn't try very hard, so I don't know what that expression is supposed to be about. Eh, eh, eh. Whatever you want it to be, I guess. It's where you don't really show up, but still manage to work things out. Yeah, it works out fine in the end. Yeah. I am nervous about those horsemen. I think they're going to roll us up pretty bad. We shall put oh, yeah, here we go. in their hooves. I should retreat across the river, but they're also across the river, so that's not good. Oh, yeah. And Antioch's gonna finish the job. Damn it. Shit. We might have to rethink things here. Zoldi says, the songs are like this. Ancient plus classical equals ancient era music. Medieval and renaissance are the medieval era music. Industrial and modern are the industrial era music. And atomic and information are the atomic era music. So I guess the music lasts for two eras. Ah, uh, okay. We're in the fight of our lives here for Antioch. We shall conquer. I hope so. It'd be real embarrassing if we didn't. Yeah, I might have to disown you as a business partner. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you owned me already. I was kind of. 
No, I mean, I, I do, but, you know. <laughs> My keyboard stopped working. That's good. Oh, that's wonderful. That's, that's wonderful. I can still move with the mouse, but it's just annoying now. Ah, oh, man, I think our moment to take Antioch has passed. They've been rolling up all our archers and stuff. No! You bring shame to Mother Russia. Uh, I built the Mahabadi Temple, though. Place that one might think of as well, what good is a temple going to do us if all our soldiers are dead? We can pray our way to victory. We can get God on our side. Well, God on our side would be helpful. Oh, he came with an apostle. Uh-oh, but I'm continually scrolling up now. Oh, no, I think I fixed it. We're good. You're just having all the bad luck today. Tell, tell me about it. It's the story of my life, really. Because, yeah, now everything's glitchy again. Is it? Yep. Seems fine on my screen. Nope. That's a lot. Sure? Well, it'll eventually update itself, because currently the live thing is looking fine. <laughs> Everybody else is like, yeah, the UI is glitching. Well, it's glitching, glitch, give glitch, it glitch. Two minutes, folks. It'll be fine. Zoldi is just on a roll. Another 100 chlum shlams. On a roll with on a roll. Yeah. You get a bumper sticker. We should make bumper Zoldi stickers. Is a, Zoldi is on the honor roll. Honor roll student. You know those bumper stickers where it's like my kids on the honor roll? Yeah, yeah. those are lame. Those are super lame. But I was on the honor roll and there was a little part of me that wanted my mom to have one. Ugh. Not enough to actually, like, buy one, but... Oh, man, the cavalry's really coming in hard now. Oh, but we met China. And are they happy? They're fine with it. Oh, man, we're so close to taking Antioch. Just give me a bit more, a bit more time. We're gonna take it! Take it! Oh, we might be able to do it. Gotta hope this does it. One last hurrah. No, I think it's just gonna make it out. God damn it. Oh, it's so close. If those damned Americans haven't shown up, we would have been fine. Word for you and you meddling Americans. Alright. I don't know what to do now. Can I buy anything with gold? Oh, another archer. Maybe that'll help. Although, the Americans still have an Oh, no, here we go. Yeah. Bit so it begins. Ah, uh, damn it, damn it! We were so close. Uh. Oh, but Hong Kong's coming in, so that's nice. Well, so finally some support from our neighbors. Well, they've been dealing with the. Oh no, I guess their army is mostly gone and replaced by elephants. It seems. Well, I mean, elephants are cool. Not when they're not our elephants. But if they're friendly elephants, it's fine. They're, they're not. They're Indian elephants. Or Ollie Fawns, if you prefer. I do prefer. I killed an American horse, though. Of course. Huh. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, wait, never mind. Maybe it's still alive, but almost. I can't tell. A horse, of course. Oh, the Brotherhood of Nod has spread to Mumbai. Well, that's great. I think we're going to send some uh, theologians into Italy, India and try to <laughs> convert them. Convert everybody. 
Ah, okay. Is uh, is the Netherlands part of our religion? Yes, yes, they're they're fully on board. Hello. They also, know the truth. Good call with that uh, prophet thing. I'll, I'll do that. Ah, oh, man, the Americans are killing me. Come on, Hong Kong, give me a hand here. Oh, there they go. Even the boats ain't safe. Ugh, not the boats! Why are they hiding in the cows? Good place to hide. I'll never see you coming. <laughs> oh, those cows. Soldier 95 is, is upset that you didn't notice his advice about prophetizing. I did notice. Prophesizing. I, I, gonna, I, I will do that. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Just send more Patience. bits and then I'll do it. I don't know where my prophets are right now. Okay, can they do it anywhere or just... Uh... Wait, did they mean evangelize belief? I hope so, because I just clicked it. And they disappeared into the heaven. Oh yeah, here we go. Yes, that was the right move, Mark. Okay, good. What's a good uh, belief here? Mich cheaper missionaries, maybe? I kind of liked mosques and pagodas and stuff. I thought that was kind of neat. Wait, what, what are all of the different benefits? Uh, oh, there's too many to list. I mean, stupa yeah. allows construction of stupas. What's a stupa? I don't know. Ooh, we could do a crusade. Oh no, I like I like scripture. Religious spread from adjacent city pressure is twenty five percent stronger. Boosted to fifty once printed. Yeah, let's do scripture. I think that's a good one. Okay, just looked up stupa. It is a mound like or hemispherical structure containing relics and the remains of Buddhist monks. Oh, so it's like a Buddhist thing. Yes. Ah, that seems fine. Man, why is my keyboard screwing up? I don't think this game likes multi monitors. Yeah, blame it on the monitors. I will. Everything's not my fault. Right. Because that'll work out so well for you. Yeah. Uh, damn Americans. Go and oh, put a monkey wrench in everything. We were so close to Antioch, and then I had to ruin it. Americans. China wants some stuff. Do I'm we have some stuff? Them. Nah, they wanted something for nothing, you know? Yeah. No. Give us something. Oh, elephants are kind of... Mm. Things are not going well. Barbarians are back on the march. A good name Antioch is lost. Ah, uh, those barbarians just keep coming back. Yeah, they're the worst. All the barbs. Oh, is the game screwing up again for anybody? Oh, yeah, it's super glitchy. Ooh, boy. I wonder if it's because I'm in DirectX 12. I know that can cause some issues. Yeah, you, you need to fix this. Uh, well, we're at uh, two and a half hours. Do you want to call it here anyways? Yeah, there's only 15 people left here, so... Yeah, I think we're going to call it's, it, folks. It's pretty quiet. I will save the game. Do it. Otherwise, this has all been for naught. Yeah. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll be back on Wednesday for Wildcard Wednesdays, where we do games Ooh. more like uh, Homeworld and Empire of War and some other stuff. PUBG, maybe. Who knows what we'll do? I don't think we have a definitive answer on that Who yet. Who knows? Yeah, so thanks for joining me. The world me, is Clarissa. our oyster. Yeah. And it's been fun, guys. All right. Thanks, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye.